On today's episode of Propeller Group's Brew with a View, we are joined by Simon Halberstam, Head of Technology Law at Simons, Muirhead and Burton. Thank you for joining us. Hi. What are you having to drink? Rooibos. What do you read when having your morning cuppa? Terribly boring, but probably a copy of the Times. I might well end up doing the puzzles. What individual or company do you think is currently stirring things up for the right reasons and who is in hot water? I'd say it's a slightly strange choice for this kind of interview, but I'd say probably the person whose comments I've thought most interesting from a positive point of view recently was Sasha Baron Cohen, because he called out Facebook for sort of accepting basically ads from anybody to do with anything, however nefarious they might be. And he said, you know, in the 1930s, would Facebook have accepted ads from the Nazis had it been around? That, that was a strong thing to say. So yeah, I like what he said. Negative point of view, I suppose, there's this guy Tom Tattoo's emerged from Australian technical obs technological obscurity. He's come out with this platform called Clearview, which enables all sorts of law enforcement agencies to match photos which have been gleaned, so if you like, scraped from the internet, um, and infringes all sorts of privacy rights without sort of any attention to the law or the regulations that are uh, relevant to them. So he's kind of cutting a swathe through privacy, and that to me is a pretty awful thing to do. What is the one thing you thought was going to make a splash, but hasn't? Hmm, interesting question. I suppose probably there are two things that come into that category at the moment. One is facial recognition and one is AI, and they're both blocked by the fact that people, privacy is again a blocker on both of those. People are worried about privacy rights being infringed, but also there's all sorts of different countries with all sorts of different systems and regulations, and to get harmony on these issues, how to deal with them is very difficult. So they're both struggling to make the impact they thought they would make. What is your favourite tech platform or solution at the moment? Um, interestingly, I think probably something called Starlink, which is another Elon Musk SpaceX venture, which is trying to create, use all the satellites that have been put up in the sky to bring internet, broadband, all sorts of you know, functionality to people in areas which can't otherwise access the internet. I think that's a, he does a lot of interesting things, some good, some bad, but I think that's definitely one which is a very big positive for the world. Thank you very much for being on Brew with a View. My pleasure.